we have been called by the by a resurrection of life that is beyond all culture. We have been called by a quantum leap of body and of mind change. We have been called to kill the ego before it kills the child. We have been called to serve God, earth, and humankind. We have been called. That was written in the 90s, and then it kind of took on a new meaning for me when I got um, more aware of the things that's happening to our food and water. And now, um, as we are all being um, educated by everyone, about what's happening to all people of color. Okay. First ponderings of the divine feminine from oceanic soup, climbing the tower of Magdala through the spiral of wisdom, reaching for the hand of the beloved. Experience a, quick, a quickening mind from within compassion. Resist not the caverns of the mind, but fill with majestic breath shining light, human being. We stand upright and grasp our birthright. We are who we are with open hands, channeling enthusiasm. Make heaven on earth empowered as children, chosen to play, accept, enjoy, release. Am of I, and that is embracing through glowing countenance, drumming our beat, moving everything to oneness of everything within timelessness of community. All that ever was will forever be, showing our birthright with open hand, open heart to new creation. Liberty, escape tyranny of your mind, escape suppression of your voice, escape possession of your soul. Prodigals, all is not lost for the party is waiting. There have been mistakes, unskilled labor, immaturity, losing our way. Commitments are needed of faith, of responsibility, all is not lost. The feast is being prepared. The party is waiting. Mm -hmm. I have one that I haven't read any place yet. That is, uh, I wrote when my first grandchild was born. Kissing sweet feet. <laughs> Croon is what I call myself. This was about eight years ago. <laughs> uh, closing in on 60 and reassessing everything I know. Uh, and life just dumped a love bomb. He is six pounds and three ounces. He has indigo blue eyes and hair that reflects many colors. Beauty and boy go together to form perfection with 10 fingers and 10 toes. Personality is cooingly charming as his physical strength jumps forward daily with head lifting, stretching, and pugnacious needs, and I just can't stop smiling. <laughs> the effects of this turn of a life cycle is spinning a connection to my heart. My mind goes into a new place. Contentment is nestling a baby at an angle. After nursing, so he's less likely to spit up. Whatever else I thought my life was about, Whatever else I thought of my spiritual mission, if all I do in this life is comfort this wonderfully self-possessed soul while he is adjusting and growing into this earth plane, I know I have become more fully human. What star influenced this vital dynamic curve? Its core has changed my orbit. Parents with a first child have their lives forever changed. So is mine. Priorities are again requantified as if he were mine. He is my grandchild. <laughs> Spirals of relationships have significantly changed cultural orders to interactions. 
My world is perceiving crust shifts literally and metaphorically. This child and his needs precede all else. What is it I feel that cannot yet be put clearly into words? What great love from a greater beloved formatted this bridge between male and female and between old and young to bring humanity into groups? What crystallized this need in human consciousness? Life longs for life. Is that enough? Is this a promise? What change will be wrought from becoming gentler to a small human in beingness, open to everything? It is a gift to see the world through another's eyes, and certainly through the eyes of innocence. What if we treated the whole world the way we love and care for a beloved, wanted child? Do you think we will ever get it right? right in honoring life and making sacred each and every life? We are given so many chances. How many chances do we get? It is important just to hold, protect, reassure, and kiss sweet feet. How will this beautiful child affect my perspective of reality and expression for change towards a better world? That outcome is a principle of time and space with a new dynamic broadening my horizon. I have been granted a grandchild. My daughter has brought me many insights into life and love. She has given me another gift, she and her mate. My own mother's contribution to this line of knowing, responding, nurturing, and motherly wisdom cannot be forgotten. The generational pattern has power. I am experiencing the spectrum of this. This may be my element, this perspective of grandmotherhood. It is clear to me, if I never hear my name called out in declaration of some culturally accepted achievement, it won't matter. I will hear my name. I will hear my grandson call my name. And I will have cherish that child while he is getting his bearings on this planet Earth. It is great to be alive and even greater to be a grandmother. <laughs>